Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us this edition of Leak Project. I'm your host, Rex Baer, and I'm going to bring to the table today something a little bit different because while many of us have been out looking at the skies for Planet X and Nibiru or Wormwood, while some of us have fallen victim to the lens flare anomalies or bug phenomenon. Now, one thing I would recommend you guys that do feel like you might have found something with an anomaly on a webcam, if you see something that looks like the red kachina or a fuzzy comet or something like that, and it doesn't move and it stays stationary for a long period of time, well, one thing that I found that was easy to either debunk or validate those images, personally, this is my own opinion, and you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but if you're looking at a picture and you see clouds in the background, and then in front of the clouds, you see what looks like a big red planet or sun. If that's in front of the clouds and in between the clouds and the camera, does that make sense? I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't it be behind the clouds? <laughs> I mean, I think so. That's my opinion, but correct me if I'm wrong here. So anyway, while many of us have been falling victim to putting just tons and tons of energy into looking at what's in the skies. And, and clearly there could be something there because as you know, I just released a uh, podcast that I did with Jason Jeffries and that was cutting edge information from the California Institute of Technology, Caltech. Professor Brown came out and said, look, with all this data, math and information we have, the, the tilting of the sun and other planets in the solar system, the gravity effects, there's definitely something out in our solar system and most likely it's a giant planet and they confirmed it to within 0.007%. Now I think that's pretty solid data, yet in my opinion, the majority of the stuff we're looking at that a lot of people think is Planet X or the Red Kachina or Wormwood, what they're looking at is some type of bug, literally, a uh, spider, uh, dirt, mud. You know, I've heard before too where people say they keep a, a lot of attention on certain webcams and then they'll see these anomalies in the skies and all of a sudden the webcams get taken down. And I'm not saying that doesn't happen. What I think in many cases what might be a more logical explanation because I've been looking at these webcams and some of these images that people say they swear are Planet X or Wormwood. And I'm looking at these images and it's dirt that's on the outside protective cover of the webcam. It's dirt or mud. And when these things are cleaned, they turn them off sometimes and then clean them and then turn them back on. So if they wipe off that mud that somebody thought was a planet, they turned it off, they wipe the mud off and they turn the camera back on. Well, then you're going to get a few people that are going to say, see, I told you it was a conspiracy. As soon as we saw a planet X in the sky, they shut the webcam down. And then when they turn it back on, it wasn't there anymore. Once again, there might be times that that happens. I haven't seen it personally yet, so I'm not trying to debunk everybody. I'm just telling you the stuff that I have personally seen was dirt or mud or something on the lens cover that was then cleaned, and then they turned it back on. So interesting indeed. Now, there was a recent law passed in Massachusetts. Here's essentially where I'm going with this. The Attorney General of Massachusetts unilaterally changed gun laws virtually overnight, redefining the assault weapon definition. Now, there's a thousand articles or more about this. I am at legalinsurrection.com. While no one was looking, Massachusetts. Here's the name of the article. While no one was looking, Massachusetts banned assault weapons. This came out July 23rd. The gun industry doesn't get to decide what's compliant. Now, in this article... According to this article, this is a quote from the Attorney General. Gun manufacturers have manufactured these weapons as legal versions of prohibited guns, Healy said. These weapons are illegal. They are copies of duplicates of banned weapons, and they cannot be bought or sold in Massachusetts. The gun industry doesn't get to decide what's compliant with state law. Attorney General Mara Healy said, We do. Gun owners, however, said that they had no notice of Healy's interpretation of the law and were still unsure of what would be included. This is my point about the wag the dog every four year Nibiru doom situation. I go all the way back to the year 2000 and every four years that's 
seems to be the magic number for impeding doom, where people get so worked up about the Mayan calendar, a pole shift, wormwood, the return of aliens, and once again, any of this stuff could happen. However, when I see it being blasted in the media, my gut tells me usually it's not the case. Because in my opinion, you guys, how many times have you seen the media push something that wasn't true? How often do they scare the, the masses into going and getting some vaccine that hasn't even really been tested except for by these pharmaceutical companies? And who knows what information they give you is accurate. Or freaking people out to go stay in their house and not look outside because there might be a bad guy out there. There might be a zombie or something. People do like to watch zombies on TV. It seems to be one of the more popular series nowadays. There's about a dozen different zombie movies out there and, and TV series that people seem to be fascinated with. It's, it's quite incredible. How many more bills and rules and regulations are they going to pass behind the scenes while we're focusing on something else? Now, with that said, I recently did an interview with Douglas Dietrich. You can check him out at triple D I E T rich.com. Or you could go double D diet rich.com. If you've heard of Douglas Dietrich before, you know that he's probably one of the more controversial guests that we've had on the leak project. He is an absolute whistleblower. I don't know how this guy's still alive. I mean, he, he definitely has something watching over him. He brings to the table so much information that is controversial. Some of you may not want to listen to this interview. Now, this was done on the William Wallace channel. So I would recommend going to YouTube and looking at the William Wallace channel. It's also linked on the Leak Project channel. So if you go to Leak Project, you will see the playlist for the William Wallace channel. Make sure to click that link and watch this video unless you are easily disturbed. Now, if you want to hear an alternative to what goes on in some factions, put your seatbelt on. This is probably the most intense interview I have ever done. And I've spoken with hundreds of people around the world on a wide variety of topics and very sensitive data. Also, go to leakproject.com. Subscribe to leakproject.com. You'll have access to exclusive content. And you can also have access to podcasts, either streaming on the website, or you can download them on your phone, on your computer, on your laptop, listen to them on the way to work, at work, while you're at home trying to go to sleep if you don't want ads to interrupt during the presentation. And there's well over 200 presentations that you guys will have access to. Updated daily. You can also go to youtube.com slash clandestine timelord. And make sure to subscribe to the William Wallace channel as well because we're going to be updating podcasts and interviews on the William Wallace channel on a daily basis as well. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Stay safe and be the change you want to see. This is Rex Bear. Talk to you soon. And gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us this edition of Leak Project. I'm your host, Rex Bear, and I'm going to bring to the table today something a little bit different because while many of us have been out looking at the skies for Planet X and Nibiru or Wormwood, while some of us have fallen victim to the lens flare anomalies or bug phenomenon. Now, one thing I would recommend you guys that do feel like you might have found something with an anomaly on a webcam, if you see something that looks like the red kachina or a fuzzy comet or something like that, and it doesn't move and it stays stationary for a long period of time. Well, one thing that I found that was easy to either debunk or validate those images, personally, this is my 